In the opening scene of the film, a bleeding and bruised man named Hahu Mo enters the police station. The officer asks him about what happened to him, and he replies that he killed a person, and therefore they arrest him quickly. Going back to what happened, we discover that he accidentally killed an opponent while fighting in the ring. He could have easily escaped to avoid punishment, but Moros prompted him to turn himself in to the police. The next scene fast forwards to three years. A female detective named Luck Yuen Sum arrives at a crime scene where a man was murdered. She discovers that the victim was a professional boxer as he used to get into fights. She examines the wounds on his body and assumes that he was tortured for several days before his death. As forensics concludes, the victim was killed by a highly skilled fighter who did not even give him a chance to defend himself. At the crime scene, a strange dagger was also found. Elsewhere we see M.O. in prison where he has been for the past three years. We discover that he is often provoked by some prisoners, but he controls himself and chooses to ignore them. One day, the news of the boxer's death is shown on TV, which catches Mo's attention, who seems surprised, as if he knows the victim. He tells the guards to call Detective Luck. He tells them that he has information about the murder of the boxer, but the guard mocks him instead. Having no choice, he gets into a fight with a group of prisoners and defeats them easily with his finishing moves. After he breaks the arms of one of them, the guards intervene and detain him. The warden of the prison is suspicious of Mo's actions, knowing that he is non-violent, and then summons Detective Luck to meet Mo. In the next scene, he reveals to her that the boxer was a close friend of his, and the killer will not be satisfied with one crime, but rather wants to eliminate the best kung fu fighters so that he can become number one. Upon hearing this, the detective asks him how he knows about the matter, but he avoids answering instead. He asks her to release him so that he can help her catch the killer. The detective becomes convinced that he is trying to make things up to get out of prison, so she decides to leave, but M.O. names seven fighters and claims that one of them will be the killer's next target, also reveals that he has fought and defeated all of these fighters over the years. Reluctant to believe his words, she orders her assistants to search for information on those seven people. Elsewhere, the unknown killer prepares to target his next victim, Writing Tam King Yu's name on the wall, which is one of the names M.O. mentioned earlier. The scene shifts to King Yu, who is in a museum while working on a huge skeleton. The killer appears out of nowhere, reveals his identity, introduces himself as Feng Yu Sao, and challenges King Yu to a melee battle. The challenge begins and King Yu notices that Yu Sao's legs are of varying lengths and he is wearing high heels to balance his body. He makes fun of it, but at the same time he praises his fighting skills. In the end Yu Sao is victorious and kills King Yu and then leaves after leaving the same dagger on the corpse as a souvenir. At the police station, the names of the seven people are investigated and it turns out that they have different professions and live in different places, but they are the best in their fields of specialization. We also discover that M.O. was a martial arts instructor with thousands of followers before he was imprisoned. The police receive the news of King Yu's murder, which shocks Detective Luck, because Mo's prophecies have come true. The next morning, M.O. is granted temporary release in order to help the detective track down the killer. Immediately, he begins to work, and by tracking the pattern of crimes, he concludes that the killer targets his victims based on their techniques in martial arts. First, he killed the boxer who was an expert in fist fights. Then King Yu, who was a pioneer in the game of kickboxing, thus concluded that the next victim of the killer would be Wang Chit, a wrestling expert. 
In the next scene, the policemen quickly arrive at Wang Chit's residence. But unfortunately, it is too late and they discover the strange dagger in Wang Chit's arm, just as it was in the previous two crimes. Suddenly, M.O. sees Yu Sao standing on the roof of a nearby building with a smile that combines evil and menace. M.O. realizes that he is the killer and starts chasing him immediately. The police also help him in pursuit. But Yu Sao manages to escape while jumping from one building to another leaving M.O. the police behind. M.O. seizes the opportunity and runs away, traveling to his hometown where he meets his wife, Xin Ying, after three years of separation. His wife puts a bracelet around his wrist to help him control himself and fight only for self-defense. He notices the strange dagger in one of the boxes in his house and his wife tells him that a few months ago a strange man limped to their martial arts school and asked her to give it to M.O. Then she suggests he go to the town's historian to gather information about the strange dagger. The last scene brings us back a bit with Yu Sao and his wife, who has cancer. And we discover that he is deeply affected by her condition because she is the only one who accepts him as he is. In order to overcome his pain, he starts practicing martial arts day and night. While his wife took her last breath, Back in the present, M.O. and his wife visit the historian to learn more about the dagger and discover that the symbol is known as a swallow and according to the historian, the dagger is given to a fighter who lost in a martial arts battle. Their conversation is overheard by an older man sitting nearby who reveals that Yu Sao was born with legs of varying lengths which is why he always felt inferior to others. After his wife dies of cancer, he vows to become the best fighter in his country, and the man also tells them of Yu Sao's whereabouts. Immediately, M.O. calls Detective Luck and tells her everything. In the next scene, the police head to Yu Sao's headquarters, only to find that he has left. The landlady is interrogated, who tells them that he used to train all day in strange ways, like he used coarse sea salt on his face. It's an ancient technique, M.O. explains, so that the leather can take a little more beating. The police also finds phrases etched on the wall indicating that he wants to fight top martial arts experts and defeat them one by one. Meanwhile, Yu Sao approaches his next target, a weapons expert named Hung Yip. He challenges him to a sword duel and the latter agrees. With his skills, Yu Sao is able to finish off his opponent and as usual before leaving, he places a souvenir on the victim's body. After discovering the crime, Detective Luck receives a call from her boss, telling her to close the case as soon as possible. As it becomes clear that M.O. is hiding something from her. We go back a bit and find out that when M.O. was in prison, he received a message from Yu Sao, but he couldn't decipher it. But now he realizes that the message says that he is the last person Yu Sao wants to face. Suspicious of M.O., the detective asks for CCTV footage of his encounters with strangers. At night, M.O. remembers the day before the first murder, as Yu Sao sent him a letter asking him to watch the news the next day. The police locate Yu Sao's current location and a SWAT team deploys to the area. The detective and the officers searched the entire place, but found nothing. Then they find his wife's ashes. They also discover that her birthday is soon, which means that he will return to the place inevitably. The detective orders the team to redeploy and remain hidden until his return. As expected, he returns home in a boat the next day. We go back to the past, where Yu Sao is sitting next to his sick wife, who was unable to move her hands. So Yu Sao decides to strangle her to death. We go back to the present where the policemen are watching him and waiting for his approach. But unfortunately he hears the sound of guard dogs roaming the neighborhood and he realizes that something is wrong. 
so he returns by boat and flees quickly. In the next scene, it is revealed through the camera footage that Yu Sao has visited the prison to meet M.O. The officers quickly inform Luck of the developments and order her to arrest M.O. immediately. The detective points a gun at M.O. as Yu Sao's accomplice in the murders, but he takes the gun from her and runs off to find Yu Sao. Meanwhile, Xin Ying finds Yu Sao inside her house. They engage in a stubborn fight, and although she is a strong opponent for him, he stabs her in the arm and runs away. M.O. arrives home to find his wife lying on the ground and calls for help immediately. Then he notices that the killer is outside the house. He jumps to catch him. The two end up falling into a river and keep fighting until Yu Sao takes advantage of an opportunity and escapes on a boat. On his way, he runs into Detective Luck's boat and police officers, but manages to escape and disappear. In the next scene, he goes to confront Yu Sao. There is a fight between them and then they use sticks to fight. Suddenly, M.O. falls and his clothes get caught in a truck causing him to be dragged farther. Yu Sao takes advantage of his injury and prepares to finish him off when suddenly Detective Luck arrives and shoots him to death. Three months later, the detective informs M.O. that he will be released soon. The film ends with a photograph of M.O., his wife, and several students at the Kung Fu School. I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, hit the like button to support us, and leave a comment if you'd like us to review your favorite movie. Until the next time, take care.